I've seen the results of the bombing of hospitals, of schools, of uh, sewage treatment plants. It is appalling. And if you want to know what the people of Palestine, you say that you're speaking on behalf of the people of Palestine. If you want to know what the people of Palestine want, ask the Palestinian farmers. We've seen the most desperate and brutal violations of people's right to protest against injustice, against occupation, against the taking of the very ground from under people. Israel is an apartheid state. Any of us who have been there know that. Once you know that, it changes you. Though these settlements are repeatedly condemned as illegal by the EU, UN and Irish government, they continue to extract valuable natural resources and agricultural produce. These goods are then exported and sold on shelves around the world, including in Ireland, to pay for occupation. There is a clear hypocrisy here. How can we condemn the settlements as illegal, as theft of land and resources, but then happily buy the proceeds of this crime? We must be clear on this. Israeli settlements in the West Bank are war crimes. This is what we're dealing with, and I'm amazed at how relaxed people can be about it, as if trading in the proceeds of war crimes is not a big deal. I witnessed with my own eyes the crushing indignity of a Palestinian community cut off from their water supply so that it could be diverted instead to support an Israeli chicken farm. That is horrendous, and the injustice of it will stay with me forever. That commercial settlement built on stolen land beyond international recognised borders is a war crime and I know I'm repeating myself today and I'm asking my colleagues across the House today, is the moral response to simply condemn this as illegal but then ask how much for the eggs? Is there not a deep hypocrisy in that position? For a country that prides itself on upholding humanitarian principles and international law, this is unacceptable and I believe it's time we stood clearly against this injustice. We are doing commerce with people who are committing war crimes. And I believe that this bill from Senator Francis Black is where we get a chance to break the consensus that has utterly failed the Palestinian people. The case for this bill has become even more compelling, if I may say so, because we've seen appalling atrocities, uh, killing of, of Palestinian civilians. I raised 55,000 euros uh, to put in solar energy and water treatment plants, and I saw them being demolished, bombed by the Israelis. That's what happens. There is something rotten in the way democracy is defined and lived, and most importantly, denied. The relentless expansion of Israeli settlements on Palestinian territory is unjust, provocative and undermines the credibility of Israelis' commitment to a peaceful solution to a conflict to which we all want an end. Nelson Mandela came to a joint sitting of these houses in the early 1990s and he said, he said what made the practical difference uh, on behalf of the Irish people was definitive action from the people, was a boycott, was solidarity and that can make the difference here. The government of um, um, Benjamin uh, Netanyahu has to get a message. And uh, I believe the message has to be a very simple one, and that is respect the rule of international law. Yeah.